This is Real Sales Talk. Real sales advice from real sales practitioners. Giving you tips on how to dominate your sales quota are your co host Sean Mitchell and Phil Keen. We don't have a process for referrals at most companies. I go into a company, I say, what's your referral process? They have no, well, what do you mean? I think that, I think that goes back to the premise that why do salespeople suck at prospecting? I mean, number one reason why they suck at prospecting is they don't actually do it. If you are successful and nobody knows, in, 2000, in 2016, 20, 2025, you're not successful. If you ever want to find out what's going on in the company, get in the car and spend a day with the top three salespeople. You'll find out in five minutes. Because you can't be a trusted advisor without two things, trust and advice. I mean, you need both of them. What is going on, Real Sales Talk audience? We are back with episode 26 of Tech Talk. Sean, what is going on? What's new? Hey, man. Lots of, lots of things happening. Lots of things happening. So um, if you've been following the story, um, I've been getting my real estate license. I finished the online classes, the real estate classes, which is a prerequisite in order to take the exam. So I finished that last week and man, it was it intense. I don't know if, if anyone's listened to the show and you're in real estate, I've got so much, so much more respect for what, what, what uh, real estate agents do. Um, this Thursday, I take the exam to get the license. So pretty excited about that. I'm glad to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And um, hopefully I, I pass it the first time around. Um, I feel pretty pretty confident about the, the content. Um, uh, I feel pretty, pretty, pretty positive about, about uh, getting through it uh, and passing it. So um, that's what I've been spending a lot of my time on uh, over the last month and a half here and, um, uh, got, got, got the target in sight here. Uh, got to finish strong. You got this. I, I have faith in you, Sean. You're going to be a wonderful real estate agent. So anybody that is in the Colorado area, you can do the whole state, right? Yeah, I totally can. <laughs> Definitely reach out to Sean. Uh, and if he can't help you cause just proximity just doesn't work, I'm sure he might know a few people that he could refer you to in the industry. Uh, but definitely look up Sean if you guys are, are looking for a good real estate agent or, sorry, a great real estate yeah. agent uh, in Colorado. So, Appreciate yeah, it. absolutely. And and also, uh, a lot of other things going on in the world. I think it's uh, it, it's just been exciting. Tech tech Talk's doing well. We, we, you guys have mm -hmm. continued to, to, to give us some love and praise, and, and uh, it's been exciting. So thank you, everybody that's been listening. So. If you don't follow Sean on Snapchat, definitely do that. I've been following Sean on Snapchat, watching his story for real estate. How do I? How do we find you on Snapchat, Sean? Um, it's Sean M for Michael Mitchell. Sean M Mitchell. Uh, I'm actually pick, starting to starting to pick that up again. Um, as I kind of mentioned today in my Snapchat story, I've been very focused on on the online the real estate classes. So so very tunnel vision. Um, because if I don't get licensed, then I'm not making any money, and uh, not making any money is no fun. Um, so, so yeah, so starting to pick that up again, starting to create some more content consistently, and um, yeah, I, 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 today I was I was very very on top of it. So if you go and follow me, you'll you'll be able to see my 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 day and what I what I accomplished today. Great. And on the last episode, we talked about the AISP Leadership Summit. I am going to be there in attendance. Please email me if you're going to be there. I'd love to meet you guys. Uh, looking forward to it for sure. Sean, let's get into the content. What, let's do it. What are you going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about a book. Um, I haven't done, haven't done a book in a while as well. We've been kind of on this uh, software application kick, and so I'm coming back to some some of the some of my faves, which which are books. And uh, if you listen to the last tech talk, it was an article. So I love reading. I love I love consuming content. Um, I'm a curious guy and an information nut, especially when it comes to my career. And so this is one that that a lot of people are talking about right now. It just came out. It's called Sales EQ. It's by our friend Jeb Blunt, whom we've had on the show before, 
and I believe it was season three, or yeah, season three. Uh, you'll have to check that one. It's somewhere around there. Season two, season three. Um, he, we're actually going to have him on the show again to have him talk more in detail about sales EQ. But I figured I'd give it, uh, uh, get this into the hands of our listeners to um, go buy it, take a look at it. If 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 it's anything like his uh, Jeb's uh, previous book. Uh, uh, fanatical prospecting. This one is going to be off the charts. I've I've already seen a lot of salespeople, a lot of thought leaders in sales on LinkedIn chattering about this and how great it is. So it's called Sales EQ. Uh, the subtitle is How Ultra High Performers Leverage Sales Specific Emotional Intelligence to Close the Complex Deal. So I think anyone in sales will benefit from this book here. So um, go check it out. It's on Amazon. And um, let us know what you think about it. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm sort of waiting for, I don't know when the audio version of this is going to come out. Um, but uh, I really would love to listen to it. Um, uh, I don't know how, how quickly I can get to the actual physical book. So Sales EQ, you can check it out on Amazon. Just search Sales EQ or Jeb Blunt, and you'll find it there. Have you um uh, have you seen people chatting about this on online as well, Phil? I have. It's interesting. I think EQ is a is a very interesting topic to start talking about with salespeople and really just people in general that are successful in business. It it is a true differentiator. Whenever it's the top one percent of salespeople that really aren't getting upset when they're behind pace, they know that they're doing the right things and they're practicing the right behaviors, and it will work. You're going to have down periods, and that does happen. But there's going to be also times where you're going to ride that high wave, where a lot of times where people that aren't the top one percent is when they hit the high wave, they stop doing the things that got them to where they are today, and then they have a they have a slump. And I think there's some of that stuff. I have not read it, the books. So I don't know what it, what it talks about, but EQ is a really important part of it. I think it's what a lot of people try to explain when they start talking about like grittiness and an egomaniac type of thing that's i think where the sales eq start coming in a little bit so uh, I'm, I'm really interested to start picking that book up and and give it a gander totally yeah um i like i said i, I think if it's if it's anything like if the quality is anything like fanatical prospecting it's going to be another one of those another one of those that, that you just have on the shelf in fact um i was trying to i don't i don't think i I managed to get this posted, but I was trying to add comments to a LinkedIn, um, a, a LinkedIn question of someone asking about what are you, what are your best sales books, your favorite sales books, and fanatical prospecting was was one of those. And I started to think through some of those others that that um, every salesperson has to read, and um, uh, you know Jeb's Jeb's book, fanatical prospecting, was one of them. Uh, a couple of the other ones, if you're curious, that I that I suggested uh, was Tom Hopkins, um, How to Master the Art of Selling. And uh, the third one was uh, Robert Cialdini's Influence. So I think every salesperson should read those three books, have them on the shelf, reference them every so often because they're, they're fundamentals of selling. Yeah, and, and if you have not listened to the episode with Jeb Blunt that we had, it's actually like you hear him in the intro of the, of the show where it's my, one of my favorite sales quotes is a lot of people sit, are at sales aren't good at sale or good at prospecting because they don't prospect. And yeah. it's, it's really interesting. It gets into, and he's so passionate about prospecting. Mm -hmm. You got to go back and listen to it. It is one of my favorite uh, real sales talk episodes that we have. Jeb Blunt just drops in a massive amount of knowledge for everything. And that, and that was back in the day when, when we were doing like <clears throat> hour long, hour plus long. I think we got like an hour and 15 minutes out of Jeb on yeah. that recording. It's one of the top um, audio recordings and the top YouTube video that we have on our YouTube channel. And I mean, it's got 5,000 5, views or something like that. So um, definitely a, a, a popular one. Yeah, Jeb One definitely just crushes that episode and uh, just drops a wealth of knowledge. So go back and listen to it. I think it was season three, I believe, uh, and just it's a good episode. So, yeah, I can take a look here. Um, 
<clears throat> it is it is it is season two episode one ah there you go why you suck at prospecting and how to fix it <laughs> there you go so go back and listen to jeb one talking about why you yeah you real sales talkers we love you but why you suck at prospecting and what you can do about it. That's what we're trying to do is bring real knowledge to you with, with the man, Jeb Blunt. So uh, get, definitely check that out. For sure. What you got? What you talking about? So one of my favorite pieces of tech that we have at Octave, uh, they used to be known uh, as Event Board, and now it is called Team, which is T-E-E-M. Uh, they recently rebranded. So share my screen i'll show you guys the website if you guys are on youtube if you are not listening to this on youtube go back and listen to this on youtube uh and you can see some of the visuals that we're putting up with it uh but also give you some exclusive content here and there uh we do some extra bonus questions for all of the real sales talk episodes mm -hmm. so if you're an avid listener you probably have heard that but if you had not taken the time to go to youtube definitely go do that but let's check out team so team is actually a software that allows you to set up like iPads outside of your meeting rooms. So if you want to cool. book a room right outside of your the meeting room, you're able to do that really easily. And the really cool thing about it is how often you go into a meeting room and it's already or it's not booked and need to book it or it's already booked, you stop making that mistake and it's easy for you to see if somebody already has that room uh, booked or not. So we've actually been able to, one of the, one of the features that, that I didn't realize that we were going to have, and it's not really a feature was seeing rooms that were booked on like reoccurring meeting invites that nobody shows up for on a regular basis that it was a long time ago, someone booked it. So that room is at that time, never, never, or it's always open. No, nobody is ever using it for an actual meeting itself. So they also have uh, a feature where you can check in or it forces you to check in so you can see how many people actually attend meetings uh, in certain rooms, how long, what the duration of those meetings are so they can get into like some of the analytics in the meetings as well uh, and let you make better decisions of how you can utilize the actual meeting rooms themselves. Uh, they also have an integration. Uh, somebody spilled the beans, but there's an Alexa integration. Uh, sorry, team. I love you guys, but I'm gonna throw it out there because it's tech talk, and we're gonna bring a real, real, real talk to everybody out there. Mm -hmm. um, so there's an Alexa integration where you can actually book a room with Alexa. Cool. So everybody that has an Alexa in their office, you can actually say, "Hey, Alexa, book me whatever meeting room name is." So really cool, uh, and you can also book it from your your Google Calendar uh, and any other ways. But it's just a great, easy way to manage it. Um, we also have a feature called Lobby Connect. And Lobby Connect actually allows you to put an iPad in the front and people sign in so you know who actually enters your building for anybody that has any security things. Um, I know we're required to have people sign in. So we actually have people sign in at the lobby and, and check in once they show up. So it's a great way to keep track of any visitors as they, as they show up. So awesome cool. piece of tech. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. So. Definitely want people to to check team out. It's T E E M. Just just I don't know. It's one of those things when you get in an office, it just makes it feel like it's uh, you class it up a little bit and feels feels more high tech kind of cool thing. So, and mm -hmm. I absolutely absolutely hate when people use a room when it's already booked, and now there's no more excuses. So it's great. It's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, there was a. Uh, I can't remember what what company it was. The the company is here in Denver, startup uh, or probably probably mid mid stage startup now. Um, had something like that, and they actually had a, a camera uh, tied to it as well, so it took your picture as well as you filled in information on an iPad. I thought that was really cool. It's cool. It, it's yeah, it, just something like this. It makes it your life so much easier. It's one of the, and it's not terribly expensive. It's one of those things where the investment in technology, the ROI is so cut and dry and so clear where you're like, oh yeah, my meeting room actually is available when I booked it. Mm -hmm. So it, it just helps a ton. So, and you can also book from straight from that iPad too. So if you're just walking around like, hey, I want to use this room maybe tomorrow, you can just click on it and see if it's available. So cool. uh, awesome, awesome piece of tech. Definitely check it out. Um, but hey, you know what? We, we are rolling with Tech Talk. 
we have a few under our belt now, now that we are at 26. What else do we have going on uh, recently, Sean, that we want to, want to chat about who we had on and, and what else is going on? Yeah, we've, um, we've had some good ones. Um, we, the most recent one that we've, we've published has been uh, Dan Fantasia of, of Treeline. They're a sales, sales-specific uh, recruiting company. And um, what was it, like a 96% retention rate on the people that they place in, in their clients, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, pretty impressive. But he also gives some, some insight into how, you know, smaller companies that are scrappier and tighter on funds can, can attract and find the right talent for sales. Yeah, I think it, a 4% fail rate is ridiculous when it comes to talent. And I think that's something that, that I would gladly hang my hat on if I was Dan. So, and, and he definitely brought it out there. And I, 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 you can tell why as we start to have that conversation of the way he thinks about um, talent and prospecting. Uh, and we also had another great episode with the gentleman named Jim Brown, which kicked off season five for us. Yep. So Jim Brown dropped knowledge on objection handling and negotiation. No, six. Season six. Oh, six. Yep. I'm moving so fast, Sean. We're just going so fast. I know. <laughs> season six, episode one, Jim Brown talks about negotiating and objection handling. Yep. And brings a pretty unique to, uh, approach to it. So he's a Sandler guy, Sandler trained. Uh, but he has his own practitioner spin on, on how he thinks about Sandler. So really definitely a good episode to, to go and check out, especially if you're a Sandler person and you're trained in the methodology. He might even give you a little different way to think about how Sandler works. So mm -hmm. pretty cool episodes. You guys should check those out. Uh, and we have some great ones that are going to be filmed this week. Oh, uh, my gosh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me just tease those out. I don't know when, when this is going to come out, uh, but uh, t tonight I'm going to – hit the launch button on an interview I did with a senior account executive from Payscale who um, in 2016 doubled his, his revenue um, and did over a million dollars in sales. And so um, I sit down with him and just deconstruct what exactly helped him crush it in 2016 and get some really good insight into um, the mind of a top performer. And I want to do more of these. I want, I want, if, if you're crushing it in your sales role, we want to have you on the show and, and we, we want to, we want to get inside of your brain and figure out what it is that you're doing. That's making you so successful. So reach out to us. Um, you can, you can send us some emails, uh, uh, Sean at real sales talk live or Phil at real sales talk live. And we'll, we'll have you on. Um, we're also this, this week, we're going to have, um, we're going to interview Mark Hunter, who is, um, uh, the author of high profit prospecting. Did you get your copy, Phil? I, I did. I was awesome. actually right. It's right here. Uh, I was perusing around it earlier. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to actually get deeper into the book. So yeah, Mark, thank you a ton for the book. It will be put to good use. I promise. Uh, and I am excited to to dig deeper into it. Me too. We also are interviewing this week John Barrows, which we've had on the show as well back in season, I'm going to guess, four. Um, we're going to have him back on again because that as well was one of our most popular um, interviews. So we're going to have him back on and we're going to we're going to talk about I don't. I don't know exactly what we're going to talk about, but it's going to be good. And you want to talk about know. building your personal brand, and he is on the kick right now, and it is awesome. I'd love to hear it and go deep into it. Um, so anybody that's out there as a salesperson or anybody that wants to build a personal brand, listen to Real Sales Talk. It is going to be a heck of an episode. So I'm excited. We have a great lineup so far, and a lot of great shows that have been produced recently, um, and then. Season four was full of, of great leaders too. So go back to season four and listen. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. This is it for episode 26. Please, if you love what we're doing, share some love and let us know that you like it. Uh, leave some comments on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube page if you aren't already. You get the exclusive content and some of the other stuff that's coming out from video content. Also, you're going to get uh, 
Sean and I's face every time. So <laughs> I not mean, now it was a previous thing. It's late on a Sunday night. So uh, who else we're... would you rather look at besides Phil and I? I mean, right. come on. I, I wish I was better looking, but <laughs> guys, Phil's on talk. That's why we're podcast hosts, and that, that's what we do. So, <laughs> but we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Feel free to reach oh, out man. to Sean. Add him on Snapchat. Look me up if you're going to the AISP Leadership Summit. Guys, have a good one. See you. See you. Bye.